My work has developed since the 50s. I am uh, in some way, uh, there is a difference on my development from other younger artists in the contemporary moment. But uh, I had been uh, an artist uh, that came to the abstract uh, very early, not very early, only my age, because this is uh, subjective, but uh, early in the moment of abstraction in Brazil. So in 53, for instance, I took part in an exhibition that was called the first <laughs> exhibition of abstract, of, uh, abstract art in Brazil. Uh, and um, together with people that were exactly, uh, doesn't matter, they, they were older, but Lija Clark, Fibro Strava, people like that. Edu was not in this exhibition. <laughs> I mean, he was younger, in fact. Mm -hmm. So he wouldn't have age for them. Anyway, if my work developed from there, and uh, there was a moment that the uh, this uh, abstraction, the meaning of abstraction, didn't interest me anymore. Um, it was a, a rupture, really, and I came into a work more, um, not more, a visceral, I mean, uh, which was like, I did, it was destroyed all the idea of space and, and formal search of the abstraction, and uh, I came into something like that, um, and um, with this kind of work that came with the organic uh, body and things like that, I um, the work was like that from '65 to to '69, so, and then there was really a rupture. It came to me that also. Uh, doing this, uh, in some way, um, in some way, talking about the situation in Brazil, but not in a pamphlet that it was the organic shapes and things like that. That the critic that we had here, Mario Pedros, I don't know if you heard. Yeah, then when he saw these works, he wrote um, articles about that, and he said. Uh, uh, Annabelle and her fase visceral, he gave a name. And, uh, uh, anyway, to say that an artist, a young artist, has a phase, it was oh my God, to have a phase. Anyway, but this came exactly to a, to a more, I don't know if dramatic rupture in which I was, I didn't feel like making any object of art in the sense not of this illusion on thinking on art, but uh, what asking about the nature of, of, of this object I didn't know about, it disappeared. And uh, this was a, another hard, hard moment because still also we were in the situation here, uh, situation of exception, and um, and this, uh, if if this didn't move me, maybe uh, in '64 exactly, it was not the beginning of that that made me move uh, into something that I wanted to talk about the situation in Brazil. But exactly, I think that this um, rapture after the visceral phase, which was. They include and say it's already about the new figuration talking about, but the organic, the blood and all this. But more than that, I didn't feel even on using any any support of art. It didn't make sense for me, and I went to 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 make some works. I called some students at the MoMA in. Moma Rio, I was giving like an experimental ideas, and uh, this took me uh, to to go working uh, with them first on the arrondissement of the of the gardens of uh, the museum. There is the aterro, né, where the land is there uh, abandoned. So I would go with them and make some like uh, proposing. Um, 
to to make uh, to see to find the garbage of the aterro, lixo no aterro was the name of one of my works.